Welcome back to Humankind and the Harapans. Let's see. We are about to claim the Northern Territories with Lake Baikal. And our... City, which city? Which city asks me for... Oh no, that's not the city, that's actually... Aha, that's... Damage by consecutive turns spent in deep water. Okay, so if we go for Quadrium, they get deeper into water because they, instead of immediately vanishing in deep water on one turn, they just get damaged. So they can survive for a little while. So that's neat. Our obelisk to the gods is being built. You guys are gonna put up our outpost here. It will be very productive, but not... And we'll attach it later. Yeah, to our main city because we don't really have another choice. Ah, uh, well, we could attach it over here to I don't know. I, I'm still confused by these guys, but we're gonna take them by force because assimilation doesn't cost all that much anymore. I think I want to I just want to show off war. So uh, we, we're going to fight them anyway, even though we could take them. We just need to make it before someone else takes them with their influence. I'm not sure if they could, really. Go on. Go on to explore. You have found new lands. You should be able to check it out. Okay, Harappa has got new population. Do we even have space people? Yeah, we have a little bit of space. Obelisk is almost done. A watery grave. The great coastal city of Harappa sends fishing crews far and up down the surrounding coastlines. Now one of the new crews has made a startling discovery. Wreckage of an ancient galley lying well preserved in the shallow waters. After a brief scouting, an experienced diver offers to explore with their gang and promises a fixed payoff for the Empire. They warn that the expedition isn't for the inexperienced. What is your choice? So we could tell them to do it and they will do it and we get the money that we get or uh we protect it we should let the dead sleep lest we offend their old gods and i think that's what we're gonna do and i think that's what we're gonna do we are a traditional people oh no we, we lost some uh people down here it always it, it looks so much worse than it is i'm really confused by why they do that i also don't understand how it's possible we lost it. It's only because we're over the population limit. Like, the food just keeps rolling in. Uh, so that's what we get. Alright. You guys don't have anything to do anyway. So, did you build the harbor? Yes, you did. So we're going to build a ship on this end as well. And then we're going to upgrade the walls. Upgrade all the food stuff. Give the money, all that good stuff. So we're done here with our obelisk to the gods, which I already don't remember where we put it. We put it here, down there. So where to go next? We get everything that we need, food, just everything we need. So let's upgrade the fishmonger. Let's upgrade this. Don't need stability. Oh yeah, we definitely want the theaters so we produce even more influence. I think we should build in uh, theaters everywhere we can. So you guys, next option is gonna be a theater as well, and you guys are gonna want to build a theater as well at some point in the far off future. <laughs> You know, you guys could go over here. What do you say? They don't come to that conclusion on their own. Oh, very good. So you guys go explore. I have this one ship here. And now go explore. It clearly only wants to explore right here. They're a little bit scared. You know, they're new to all this. They they don't know what to expect. So they, they, they'd they rather be careful. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn in circles. But once we have the new ships and upgraded all our old ships, it's going to be fine. 
So can we attach this? Can we afford to attach this? Yes, we can. And I say we do. So let us. Boink. Attached. And now we build the thing that exploits the thing up there. Science. Very good. Oh yeah, right. This gives us influence. Yes, yes, we don't care. Um, do we need more troops? Yeah, they have way more troops than us. No, they have equal troops to us, so we need more troops. Religious minorities. Let's see, the empire stands for tolerance and religious freedom, face of many denominations. Welcome here, however, now that our own religion is stronger than ever, with two holy sites found across the land. You have the power to decide minorities of their faith should be subject to taxes for peaceful coexistence. Uh, let's see. Untaxed minorities gives us stability everywhere. I think we're going to have the minorities untaxed. Worshippers of other faiths should not be burdened with our religious taxes. So you're thinking that if they prefer perdition, they can get it for free? No. Yeah. I'm not sure what perdition means, but I think they should have it for free. Okay, we need a new research, but our ships could be upgraded now. Uh, we will... We will definitely go for this here. Siege tactics, as we are about to siege something. And we want to build even more troops here. More spear and archers is what I want. Now let's check our sheeps. We can only upgrade within our own waters, but they don't need to be anywhere specific. Like they don't necessarily be need to be on a harbor or something. So that's neat. And that one ship I can't upgrade right now is because it's sitting out on the sea there. Fascinating, the Persians. They probably just stopped over to say hello and build a palace or two. Okay, this guy's just kind of hopping around there. Where have we encountered the Persians? Oh, no. Oh, what? They are running around on our land. That's uncool. Definitely need to claim that before they do. Don't want them to claim this. Let's see. Where would be a halfway okay outpost? This here. We don't know. Seven and eight is pretty. Seven and eight is pretty good. Yeah, there it will be. A proposal for your consideration. Persians want to sign a non-aggression pact with us. We will accept this. We could put this grievance and tell them that they tell us uh, they pay us this for trespassing in our land, or we can renounce it. Uh, and I don't think we're going to press this grievance, so we will just renounce it. Let us no longer speak of this. I love these little voice lines that you get. That's really fun. So either we don't know their resources, or they don't have any resources. Let's see. Would you like to trade luxury resources? No, they don't want to. The proposal is sloppy. <laughs> we could be like, sign it, or else. They are very far away from us. I do not have the looping world. You can make it so that you kind of go around, but that confuses the hell out of my brain. 
So instead we will have this here. Where it's a clear map from left to right. It's good that it's an option. It really is. So could you just kind of swim back so I can upgrade you? You and now you can go water explore. And it still just turns in circles. <laughs> I hope the ships get a little bit more uh, adventurous now. Because as I said, they only lose health now. They don't get destroyed immediately. We're no longer the most important here. They're a little bit too strong for my taste, so we're just gonna get them in like this. Uh, yeah, we will uncover technology that allows us to absorb a city into a city, so that's what we're gonna do with Moche. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure how this even came about, but it is what it is. Let's make sure we upgrade everything. I just wanted to prevent the Persians from just getting a, a, a foothold in here because that would have been a horribly annoying war to fight. Didn't I see them linger down here somewhere? Thought I didn't. Oh well. Let's see. What's going on in this city here? A merchant from afar. Bang, bang, bang. A rabble of traders ferrying strange wares and knocking on Hurakinga's gates, demanding an audience. They tell you that they hail from a far land, having traveled many leagues among, uh, along one of your fable trade routes. They claim to offer merchandise that will be profitable, but they also look rather haggard and exhausted. Do we agree to let them in? So, if we let them in, we don't know what happens, but uh, I think we are a very open people, so... The end of an ideology, axis. ideology axis is what they call them. But these are ideology axes. Because they're ideologies and they're axes. <laughs> we have reached the end here. Getting the most food out of our cities, obviously. As it befits us. And now we have all these armies here doing nothing much. So let's station these guys on Harappa. Let's station these guys. These guys in Mochi for now. Let's station these guys in... Yeah, where? Don't even have cities that far north. So let's station these guys down here. It's a bit of a way. And we put these guys in our seaside garrison. Now oh, they can just auto explore. <laughs> just walk around in circles. Do nothing much. And you guys can auto explore because there is tiny little bits of land we haven't laid eyes on yet. We will just defend here. What's next? Ah, yes, we need to build something in Moche. Uh, phew, what should we do? Let's make sure that they earn us some influence while they exist. It's the least we can do until we absorb them. Okay, we have another population star. This silver and more lead. Just stay here and defend. You guys have nothing to build. We're not going to put all the major wonders into our primary city because the stability bonuses of these are really quite strong. So they will get the Lighthouse of Alexandria. See where we put it. Well, let's put it here attached to the city and add our primary city to help here everyone helps 
till it's done. I like this. You can just concentrate your whole empire on these. I, I really enjoy that. Okay, low. Let's go get it. We can do it. We will lose some health. But it'll be worthwhile. Is this... Where does this area come from? It's fine if we lose the ship. I'm not too fussed about it. Obviously, we would prefer if we didn't, but if it so happens, we lose a ship. And we will lose this ship. I turned too late! Goodbye, good ship! <laughs> oh, well. Siege tactics are done. We don't need them anymore, at least for the moment. Absorb city. There we go. That's what we want. So we're gonna... Got that. Let's see. A blossoming of beliefs. Religious feeling is strong across the empire, but that is not preventing discord from emerging from among the faithful. Great cities are finding themselves under the sway of diverse religious leaders who each see the standard creed with different eyes. New religious orders are emerging every year and the influence is growing. That sh what should you do with these groups? We dissolve them. We allow them or we lead them. I think we lead them. What's this? Did I make these? Just gonna exist and run around in circles here. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Ah, you, you're our auto explorers. Alright, alright. Uh, what do you want? Ah, you have arrived to defend our city. Ah, no. Disaster! And Kingya is beset with a violent pox probably brought into the city by the Caron of Traders recently granted entry. The gods must be angry. So we get minus 15 food here, which... It actually does hurt us, for once. It actually does hurt us. Interesting. So what do we do? Uh, I want you out of this one. We want to build the granary. That will help us. But we're way overpopulation anyway, so... It's... Uh... Not super ideal, but it's also not the end of the world. Okay, we have discovered everything here. Sadly, no other wonder. That would have been... Brace yourself. Wonderful. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Good God. I really figured that there would be land here to settle if there is like a squiggly line, but apparently not. Apparently they just kind of exist also without anything much. All right, so we built this. Should do marvels for trade. It will also make for handsome tourist souvenirs. Very good. So. And see all the lower ones have been claimed by now but we're the first to claim something on the medieval level so what options do we have Angkor Wat plus one food per faith oh that kind of sounds like the thing for us to do the forbidden city war support increased when going to war stability my god that's really good Chinese know how to control their people housing a giant bronze Buddha in the heart of the complex is an enduring okay face stability Turns before being converted by others' religions on city out or outposts. That's also really good. A Notre Dame. Let's see, plus one faith per research technologies. Wow, faith and stability. Ah, all these are good. 
All these are good, but I like the food. Per faith. I like that. Oh, this is a hard choice. We could try to go for more than one though. If we claim one now, build it quickly, we might get two of the same era. So let's try this. I've never tried this. So 30 turns for Anka what? Let's see. Doesn't really matter where we put it. So we're going to put it uh, up here in this area. But they need to do the food thing first. No, they're good on food again. That's okay. So we need. We can just put it out here, but I don't feel like it. I'm afraid that these get ransacked or whatever. So we're going to put it right next to our garrison here. And we invite the Empire to help in this monumental task. So 11 turns, that's decent. I'm just randomly clicking on things here. Piers. We'll just power through the creation of this thing. I don't really care about nothing. Oh, that one here was very brave. I do get lost still. You're so small. Come on, let's let's upgrade you. Become better. Be more. Be best. As the campaign of the former first lady <laughs> said. My God. Hey, you could hop down here now. You could hop all around. God, all the things you could do. Look at it. It's lovely. Plus one food from exploitation. Almost done. Today the Empire spans many cities and enjoys a period of peace. However, while citizens worry less about the horrors of the war, other fears prey on their minds. The citizens are afraid that the city squares rife with hearsay. Rumors across the land speak of a terrible malady, laying entire communities to waste. The sufferers bloodied and bedridden. What will we do? We will 100% heed this, lock our cities down, lose a bunch of industry, so our uh, Anchor Wat will take one turn longer than it should but best we prepare for such eventualities and not be taken unawares. How did you guys get your troops over here? Oh, they hired them from the Moshikas. That's how they did it. They have them for 11 more turns. What the hell? There's something we could explore. You there. You useless boys. Nah, let's take these. These are closer useless boys. Go hop over there. Do it. It will take forever to get there. Gracious. You guys are ap. Absolutely doing nothing whatsoever. So we'll send you... I want to build a garrison here so I can protect this a little bit. Ah, we don't. We definitely don't need those right now. So many troops. Garrison here. I wish they wouldn't show the districts that you already built and you can only build them once. That would be nice. Make for a cleaner experience. Okay, we can now absorb cities. I want to get this. We don't need a bigger city cap. All right, so we can absorb this. It costs a whole lot of this. 
Uh, but it's fine. It'll be worthwhile. Yes, we can Psychic claim a new wonder. Worthy of reverence, not merely for the temple, but for the care it took with water and irrigation. I really like this Todai G because the 20% uh, extra turns required before we get converted are insanely good. Plus 20 faith also really works well with this here. Uh, we would get the same here. Plus these, these two really, really jive with each other. These really help. Like this constantly goes up and this goes constantly up due to this constantly going up. I think we'll claim this. Let's see. This one will get built at home again. And I think we'll put Notre Dame up here. Or over there. Where do we put it? Put it anywhere, really. Yeah, I think here is fine. Let us invite the Empire to contribute to this task. I'm not really taking care of these deeds. Probably should. We have a message down here. Something is going down. The Defiant Canvas. Well, cultural venues flourishing across your empire. A famous painter has been criticizing your rule obliquely through their work. Based on the cosmopolitan city of the Moharian Daru, their latest piece depicts a gluttonous, saggy flesh giant snacking on a platter of sugared cakes. Hey, how did they get to see me like that? And they're gaining much public attention. What is your response? I think we will encourage it. The edge of the artist's censure can be blunted by seeming pleased. We already, at the age uh, 5433 before uh, Christ, uh, d d we, we know the Streisand effect. So we're not going to fall for it. And with that, I believe we can leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked, please click the like thing. And if you have any questions or want to say anything, comment. See you around. Until next time. Bye-bye.